everyone and welcome back today we are taking a look at the uh what i'm going to be calling season two of the transformers shattered glass line the unfortunate final wave depending on how you look at it um we got more decepticons yay we got some pretty big autobots Yay! Are they any good? Eh. We all know my thoughts on this guy. I love the design. I love the look. I hate the transformation. And we also get a funny head, too. So there's that. Um, Blaster. Again, I love the figure. He is awesome. These two are great. She is amazing. And I love him. So, you know what? I feel like we did a pretty good... We had a pretty good send-off. Uh, Shatterglass Soundwave was definitely one that I was really hoping for. And I really wanted to, um, to get. I do kind of wish, instead of the Rando 2-pack here, um, we could have gotten a... Um, we could have gotten a, another leader figure for the Decepticons prob like maybe we got a, a shattered glass shockwave um just to like round out the, the, the Decepticon command structure a wee bit better because we have um we have Megatron the leader the uh, second in command of Starscream comms uh Soundwave and then we got uh then we would have had uh shockwave as our uh science officer we could have had an entire bridge crew. <laughs> um, shit, actually, I never thought of that. Holy crap. <laughs> um, yeah, no, so that would have been cool. Am I a little disappointed that didn't come out? A wee bit. Am I really heartbroken about it? No, if I want to, if I want to shatter glass shockwave, I'll, um... I'll go to a store, or I'll go on Amazon, shell out the $100 or whatever. They're asking for a purple shockwave, and uh, I'll repaint my Galactic Man shockwave as Shattered Glass Shocky Wave. And there's my Shattered Glass shockwave. Am I going to do that? No. Because my shelf is filled up already, and I like what we got. Um, we definitely got a lot more smaller Decepticons in the second wave, um, which is a little funny, <laughs> um, because a lot of our Decepticons were the Voyager class figures, um, or, yeah. Hi, you're oh, 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 God, that hurts. <laughs> um, we got a lot of, like, deluxe or leaders or void, sorry, Voyagers and Leaders for our, uh, for the Decepticons. Um, so it would have been nice to kind of see that a wee bit more. The Autobots are usually the ones who have like the, the random scaling. It, but I understand why we got, you know, the, the smaller ones here because the Autobots got all the big ones. Aside from Goldbug. <laughs> Goldbug's the littlest and it's great. <laughs> Everybody can make fun of Goldbug. Um, but yeah, so quite honestly, this is, uh, this was a good send off. Uh, this was definitely worth the wait on like getting the, the final bit of, uh, of shattered glass for, um, like for this line, uh, all these figures were really like the molds are all great. Like, I, I don't think I have said anything really terrible about any of them aside from magnus and we can all agree magnus needs work um but we're not talking about magnus in general we're talking about the entire lineup they all work really well they're all very fun figures just to play around with and hell a lot of them you don't even need the rest of the set like the the rest of shattered glass to um to appreciate like if you just wanted let's say 
for argument's sake, you just wanted Shatter Glass Omega or <coughs> Ultra Magnus. You can get him. And like he will not look out of place and um like let's say you have Magnus just with the um with the redhead. He's now Delta Magnus, and now you have um what could be considered a Japanese character. And he just has a purple Autobot badge because it just what he did. Or you can use a Repro label. Or you wanted to get Sound Blaster here because his and just say, oh hey, this is Sound Blaster when he got upgraded into um Oh wait, Sound Blaster didn't get a different name. Uh when he got upgraded. Or did he? Um <laughs> When Soundwave turned into um, the the black repaint <laughs> with uh with the buzzsaw, can't remember his name right in there, but you know what I'm you know what I mean. Um, so you can use that. Hell, you can use Slicer as just that, just Decepticon Slicer. He doesn't have to be shattered glass Decepticon Slicer. No. He is just Decepticon Slicer, and that's all you need. Hell, the badge here is purple too, so like that works. <clears throat> if you want, if you want to bulk out, let's say you're, let's say you're building a um, a Decepticon Speed team. Let's say you're getting all of the com or all the um Stunticons. You've got uh Runamuck, Runabout, and you've got Crasher and um and uh, the Golden guy who's repainted of a drag strip and you just want to get a couple more speedsters exhaust uh or not ex um you got a slicer here so he works and you even get a little uh another rorichi if you're collecting the um uh the the weaponizers let's say you have fast lane and the right and the golden rorichi and you want to, and you really like that mold, you, you got this version, and it's really cool. Um, let's say you're you're a big fan of all the bikes, um, like all the bike transformers. So you want to collect those. You can just get her um, flame war for that, and just use her as like a regular Decepticon, not as a good character. Um, and maybe just for the sake of argument and, um, I had a discussion, kind of a discussion, um, I had a commenter on the Soundwave video, yes, Soundwave is expensive, they're all expensive, they're all gonna be premium priced because they're a specialty line that they're not going at retail for, so they are gonna be a wee bit expensive, so you, you need to budget for that. Ironic coming from me, who's in debt. <laughs> I'm kid. Uh, joke. I'm not in debt. I'm just incredibly poor. <laughs> uh, but who isn't nowadays? Am I right, people? Um. <clears throat> anyway, away from being uh, realistic, or from uh, the realities of the universe. Um. We're gonna get into spoilers for. The story of the comics. This is your first your spoiler warning. It is not a big spoiler. There will be no discussion of how it ends. Kind of. I will not go into any details. I will not go into characters. What I will be going into is my feelings at the end of the story and how I feel everything is wrapped up. Again, third time, because I want to get this through people's heads because I don't, I do, oh, no, flame war. One second. She's back. <laughs> I apologize about that. Um, for some reason, flame war decided to just fall down. Um, but yeah, so my feelings at the end of the comic book run 
it was a little lackluster. That is all I'm going to say about it. That is my feelings towards it. Most likely, if I remember that I was doing this by, let's say, either January or February of next year, that should be long enough, I believe. Um, I will go into a retrospective of the comic books. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I may actually have like a proper, like full on setup and stuff ready to rock and roll. And we may start doing, um, you know, different stuff, some, something a wee bit more along, along the lines of this or, um, you know, a couple like storyboard stuff. Uh, I'm just workshopping it right now. This is like, you know, bare bones setup. I'm just using the, uh, the recording style that I have for my reviews so, you know, it's just the figures that we got. Um, but yeah, I, I, um, <laughs> I, 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 am, uh, God, as you can see again, just like yesterday, this is totally not scripted at all. Um, uh, damn. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. I lo I lost uh I lost my train of thought here. We're back. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> I had a uh I had a brain fart for a moment there. I just needed to uh take a second readjust. Um so yeah, um the story itself, I feel like could have been better. Um the figures, they're all great. I would have preferred, you know, a couple of maybe bigger names aside from just Flamor and Slicer and uh, Fastlane over here for for the Decepticons. I feel like our Autobot selection is pretty good. Um, Blur, Ultra Magnus, Ratchet, um, Goldbug, Optimus Prime. Those are all really good. I won't lie, it would have been nice to have had Prowl. That way we had the um, the kind of three main big bads that they that they foreshadow in the in the comics. You know, it would have been nice to have Prowl alongside there, but whatever. Um, yeah. Um, so it would have been nice to have, you know, one of the bigger names. Um, just like with what I said with the Decepticons, it would have been nice, bigger names. What we did get, however, is still very big names. I feel like with the Decepticons, they figured, okay, we need Megatron, Starscream, and um, Soundwave. Those are our three big ones. We still have... Two extra slots where we can get away with um, with something a little bit risky. Let Let's look through the files. Let's uh, Let's see what we got. Oh, Flame War! That was a that was a that was an interesting character. That was one that we didn't get a we haven't gotten a chance to put a new toy out for in a while. Okay, well, well, what other one do we have? Oh, right. There was that old Action Master toy of a character. We can just reuse two molds that we already have lying around. And we can add some added Energon weapons just so that he's, quote, a part of the, quote, legacy line. Ta-da. And quite honestly, I, I feel like that's how they how they went about it. And you know what? I can't fault him for that. We got the cult classic favorites, and we, and they didn't have to and um bleh, 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 bleh. and quite honestly, Hasbro didn't have to mark up the price as much because it's not a premium figure. Um, like I can't believe I'm saying this. Like Netflix Soundwave. Why did we, why didn't 
they re Sorry, I just... It's a little... It's still a little weird to me that the Legacy Soundwave is... The spaceship rather than the boombox. I know I've said multiple times I like this spaceship. But getting in hand the boombox... Or not the boom... The, the tape recorder that this sound wave turns into... Yeah, I'm a little miffed. We never got the uh, the evil sound wave uh, tape deck. I I kind of wish we got that, but you know what? That that's that, that's just me complaining about something for the sake of complaining about it. Um, hell, with, with these guys, we got a lot of more mini cassette, like mini con stuff, uh, oriented stuff. Like, we got a very nice Shatter Glass Laser Beacon Ravage. We have another weaponizer in the form of um, the Flame Axe Pterodon, whose name I forget, and whose name I will constantly forget because it's just a... <laughs> it is a friggin' axe. It's an Axasaur. And we got another one of these amazing little cassette bots. Like, I love both of these guys. Not, nope, not you. <laughs> not you, Ravage. You, 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 you have a problem. Um, But I very much like these cassettes. I, my only gripe, and I feel like the only gripe that really anybody has with these two cassettes is the fact that they're clear plastic. And I completely agree with that fact. I would have much preferred these just being either so like solid blue and a solid red cassette. Solid red with the white arms. Because they did... Like, these arms, I'm pretty... Oh no, these arms are like fully translucent. They just painted it white. <laughs> I don't know if the translucent color here was just cheaper. But let's just hope throughout the years that these do not start becoming lost pieces if you know what i mean um the gimmicks and all of these guys like all of their quote gimmicks work really well the um the opening chests for both soundwave and as you saw blaster both work really good the magnus mode works about as well as the magnus mode works um the the quote optimus body um, or sorry, Optimus like body, um, works because that's just what he is. He's an Optimus like body inside of the Magnus armor or whatever. Um, the, the flame war and fast, like these three work really well together as just you like your, your deluxe kind of wave builders, like your army builders. Like these guys, this guy looks like he's just a regular Decepticon warrior that just kind of... Sorry. <laughs> um, that just kind of walked in one day and was like, yeah, I'm going to join the cause. Why not? Why not? Screw it. Um, yeah, I think that... that that I think that's about it, <laughs> honestly. I'm... Um, Oh, that's where I put it. Okay, that's cool. That was smart. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that is essentially it for um for Transformers Shattered Glass. Oh wait, hold up. I forgot ranking. We're we're gonna just we're gonna do the same thing that we did with Gen uh season one <laughs> Gen one with season one Shattered Glass, and we'll just do a very quick ranking. I'm not gonna move them into the correct positions i'm just going to very quickly um kind of go through which i like which is my favorite and which is my least uh starting off with the uh the the worst one as much as i'm a little miffed about this unfortunately i'm gonna have to say it's um flame war only because um, like as much as I love this figure, the, um, 
The legs are a little too wonky and the feet are a little weird, uh, like hard to get posed. And I, I, she's not like my number one character. She's just not. It, it's just, again, personal preference. She's not my favorite. If she is your favorite, first of all, you have good taste in motorcycle design because she looks great in both modes and, you know, mainly in motorcycle mode. Like her, mo the bike mode is perfect. I just wish they had had it done something to the face or just the head sculpt itself just to differentiate it a wee bit more. Um, second is, uh, quote, fast lane here. Only because he's not technically a really a character. He's just the exo armor. That, that's all he is. He's just an exo armor. Uh, next up is Blaster. Mainly because, while I do love the boombox mode, his posability is great, the color scheme's a little bland. Not bad. Bland. I feel like you could have used a couple more pops of that beautiful teal somewhere, just as just a wee bit of extra pop. That's my only gripe. Next up. Magnus. Magnus is the last of the top, like, is the beginning of the top three. And you can kind of see where this is going. I know, I, I, I know you know where this is going, but bear with me. Magnus is quite, on, uh, aside from apparently his hips being very terrible, and he's, I mean, he's got the, the big booty, so yeah, that makes sense. Um... I, I just, I love the threatening head. I love the design, like the color scheme for this Ultra Magnus is amazing and terrifying. And like, he just works as this evil, conniving bastard. And I just, I love it. Um, The transformation sucks. It will always suck. There's nothing that's going to say, oh, no, well, I mean, aren't you a little hard? No, the transformation is literally you pull it apart, you form the, you turn the armor into a bloody trailer, and then you tell them to piss off. That, that, that is it. I wish, I wish Hasbro was able to find a way to turn, um, like to make it so the Earthrise mold was able to incorporate the Magnus armor what like what they had originally planned to do because that would just look so damn cool um but yeah so number three is ultra magnus number two is exhaust yeah i i will not i'm a sucker for a good wheel jack mold Wheeljack is my favorite character, mainly because of Prime. Um, also because I just I love I always I have always loved Wheeljack's design and his character of being that kooky scientist who just kind of blows stuff up. Now I know this is not Wheeljack. I know this is Slicer. Um, but the gold on the face, the blue on the legs, and just his entire color scheme just works for me and i just i love it so much and plus his weapons are damn cool i mean christ the man's got a friggin crimson red shoddy and a minigun that turns into an exhaust that's pretty damn cool and yes last but not least my favorite character from shattered glass wave 2 is Soundwave. Yes, Blaster, I'm doing this to you again. Suck it up, you whiny bitch. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> One second. Um, sorry about that. I uh, had a mild stroke at a stupid ass joke that just is funny as hell to me 
Um, yeah, no, it's like, what, 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 what more do I have to say that I have not said about this guy already in his like dedicated review? His colors are amazing. I love the white. I love this metallic blue that they got going on here. And I love the green. I, l I love the whole Zen DJ thing that he got, that he has going on. The care. I have, I love the whole caretaker thing that he has in the comics. Like, I, I love, love, love this figure. And, like, quite honestly, I am so glad Decepticon Soundwave is who we ended off Shattered Glass with. Because he gives me hope. And I feel like that that was, like, maybe now I'm reading too much into something stupid here. So, forgive me. But that may be the point. Soundwave's entire character... In, in Shattered Glass is hope. Hope of something better. Something something that we can work towards and uh, uh, so long as we help each other. Um, helping each other like, I mean, Christ, if you know somebody who has, you know, problems, fucking help them out! God damn it! Um... I, I, I just, he's a, he's a great character. His, his entire motto of no one left behind does not just mean on the battlefield. It means in society going forward, you'd never forget the bots who are suffering from some type of PTSD, if if the shockwaves get too loud, if the memories start coming back, he was always there to listen. Sorry, he is always there to listen. I'm, the only reason I'm speaking was, was because I, the, you know, the end of the comics. That's all, but he is always there to listen to you. Um... And he's always there to guide you along or just, again, just be that listener. And I feel like that that's something to strive for as we move forward in, in life is just someone who will listen to us when we have our problems, no matter how gigantic they may be. Or how small they may seem to us. And we just, we always just need that one person to listen to us and just kind of air our grievances out. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, Sh Shattered Glass Soundwave is my favorite out of all of these guys. And quite honestly, out of the entire set, like I know I said I love Shatter Glass Optimus Prime, but I mean, I Soundwave. <laughs> that, that's all I can say. Soundwave. Um, but yeah, so that that's it for Shatter Glass. It was a great run. It ended off with a really good toy, and I am so happy we got what we got um would i have liked more yes would my wallet hell no but that's gonna be it for today guys i hope you have enjoyed this brief retrospective for the past two days i hope you have enjoyed just kind of watching the the series and i am so happy that we've been growing we grew a lot faster than I ever expected us to, and I just wanted to say thank you. Um, so yeah, have a good rest of your day, night, or whenever you watch this, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go play some Ratchet & Clank. Bye, everyone!